News tonight, faith leaders in Oakland are weighing in on school closures that are scheduled to start in June. The Oakland School Board voted earlier this month approving the closure or merger of 11 different schools. Today, the group Faith in Action gathered in front of the Oakland Unified School District headquarters to express their concerns about the plan. Ground Force Rob Nesbitt reports on what the group says students in Oakland deserve before they get sent to another school. Faith leaders in Oakland say this is an equity issue and they worry about how Oakland's plan to close schools will affect the education for students of color. But at the end of the day, we got to take care of our children. City and faith leaders in Oakland gathered Monday to ask OUSD to pause the decision for school closures and mergers. Pastor Michael Wallace of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church says that will allow time for a study to see how students of color will be impacted. An independent equity analysis centered on black and brown children of any and all school mergers, consolidations, and our closures. Faith in Action is also calling for an independent analysis on how budgeting decisions in the district impact the city's schools of predominantly black students. City Council Member Noel Gayu spent 20 years on the Oakland Board of Education. He attended Monday's press conference to stand in solidarity with the requests made by faith leaders. Having your child attend the same school throughout the earlier years allows allows them to develop relationships with the adults and children in that environment. While members of Oakland's churches expressed their disagreement with the majority of the city's school board, they also denounced recent acts of violence directed towards board members over their vote to close schools. Rocks thrown through their windows, cable cards, cords cut. There's no room in this level of debate for continual violence. Councilmember Gayu says the city isn't willing to wait on the school board to make a decision on pausing closures and mergers, but is working with Governor Newsom to allocate emergency funds to keep Oakland schools open. In San Francisco, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.